Aircraft wings provide the lift that takes us to the skies. They're designed to be light, yet very rigid. Producing them requires a strategic balance of old-school production methods and high-tech computer-assisted design. The wing's frame is made up of three main components, the rear spar, the main spar, and ribs. They make the ribs from aircraft-grade aluminum. It's corrosion-resistant and has great tensile strength, allowing it to resist extreme wind pressure. A computer-guided stamping machine punches holes for rivets and control cables. It also stamps larger holes to reduce overall weight. Workers break attachments called micro-joints and extract the ribs. Each rib now goes onto a metal and rubber forming die. A hydraulic press applies 150 tons of pressure, stamping the rib to the die shape. Using a grinder, workers smooth out the sharp edges the stamping process left behind. Then they peel off a plastic film that protected the ribs from scratches until now. The factory uses the same process to construct the main spar. The spars run the entire length of the wing. It takes even more pressure this time, 222 tons, to bend the spars into shape. That's because this aluminum is three times thicker than what they use for the ribs. To ensure they've aligned the ribs perfectly for riveting, workers manually push spring clamps into the spar. These hold the ribs in position. Workers now hand drill holes for larger rivets, then smooth out the sharp edges with a deburring drill. Then they use a pneumatic riveting gun and bucking bar to rivet ribs to the main spar. They use a tiny bucking bar for some of the tighter spaces. The completed airframe now goes on a positioning rack to receive an aluminum covering they call the wing skin. Workers use spring clamps to position the aluminum top skin onto the airframe. They use the same procedure for the leading edge wing nose. Once everything's together with spring clamps, workers permanently rivet the assembly. Welders, meanwhile, fuse the wing's fuel tank using an argon gas torch. Argon contains fewer contaminants than the typical acetylene torch. They fit the tank into the wing chamber, then secure it by bolting steel belts onto the spars. Now they position the tank's covering plate and screw it onto the wing. These holes are for fuel lines and control cables, which run the entire length of the wing. The wing tip is the final piece they fit and bolt onto the wing. It's made of a lightweight fiberglass and plastic composite. The completed wing is now ready to be bolted onto the aircraft body. Just one aircraft wing weighs a mere 79 kilograms, but it's certainly no lightweight when it comes to strength. It can withstand nearly 2,500 kilograms of wind pressure. <laughs>